Why creatine works at 30, but fails at 50? And no, your body did not just wake up one morning and decide to reject the supplement that once made you feel invincible. If you are a man over 50 staring at that tub of creatine wondering if it has secretly expired or if the supplement company scammed you, stay right here because I am about to reveal the science that fitness influencers half your age have absolutely no clue about. Before we dive deep into this, if you want my free exercise plus creatine guide specifically designed for men over 50, comment the word active right now and I will send it directly to your inbox. This guide has transformed how thousands of men approach supplementation after the big 5-0. Now let us uncover why creatine seems to have ghosted you and exactly how to get it working again. Why creatine was your best friend at 30? Let me take you back to the glory days when your 30-year-old body was basically a creatine paradise. Your muscles were not just muscles, they were five-star resorts for creatine molecules with unlimited amenities and zero checkout time. At 30, your body was naturally producing creatine in your liver, kidneys, and pancreas like a pharmaceutical factory running three shifts. Your muscle cells had abundant creatine transporters, which are specialized proteins called sodium chloride-dependent creatine transporters, and these little workers were operating at peak efficiency, grabbing creatine from your bloodstream and stuffing it into your muscles faster than you could say gains. Your adenosine triphosphate regeneration system was firing beautifully. When you popped that 5 grams of creatine monohydrate, your muscles basically rolled out the red carpet and said enter freely friend. Your satellite cells, those magical repair crews that help rebuild muscle tissue, were activated and ready for action. Your testosterone levels were likely at their natural peak. Your growth hormone was still showing up to work every night. And your insulin sensitivity was exceptional, which matters tremendously because insulin acts as a key that helps unlock muscle cells for creatine entry. You felt stronger, you recovered faster, and you probably thought this would last forever. Spoiler alert, biology had other plans. What actually happens to your body after 50? Welcome to the metabolic plot twist that nobody prepared you for. After 50, your body starts operating under completely different management and this new management did not consult you before making major policy changes. First, and most importantly, you begin losing muscle mass at a rate of approximately 1-2% to per year through a delightful process called sarcopenia. This is not optional. This is not because you skipped leg day a few times. This is programmed biological aging that affects every single human being. Less muscle mass means fewer storage containers for creatine. Imagine creatine as expensive furniture and your muscles as warehouse space. Your warehouse just downsized by 20%, but you are still ordering the same amount of furniture. Where exactly do you think it is going to go? Second, your creatine transporter proteins become significantly less efficient. Those hardworking doormen I described earlier have now aged right along with you. They are slower, they are checking fewer identification cards, and they are letting far fewer creatine molecules through the door. Third, your insulin sensitivity has likely decreased substantially, especially if you have gained visceral fat around your midsection. That insulin shuttle service that helped creatine enter your muscles is now experiencing major delays and cancellations. Fourth, your mitochondrial density has decreased, meaning you have fewer cellular power plants to convert that creatine phosphate into usable energy. The muscle fiber disaster nobody discusses. Here is where we get into the really fascinating science that separates the informed from the clueless. Your muscles contain two primary types of fibers, and what happens to them after 50 explains almost everything about your creatine frustration. Type 2 muscle fibers, also called fast twitch fibers, are your power fibers. These are the fibers responsible for explosive movements, heavy lifting, sprinting, and basically anything that makes you feel like a capable human being. These fibers also happen to store the highest concentrations of creatine phosphate. Type 1 muscle fibers, called slow twitch fibers, are your endurance fibers. They are great for long walks and sustained activities, but they store significantly less creatine and generate far less power. Here is the devastating news. After 50, your type 2 muscle fibers begin converting to type 1 fibers at an accelerated rate. Your body is literally trading in your sports cars for fuel-efficient hybrids without asking your permission. 
This process is called fiber type shifting, and it is one of the primary reasons older adults lose explosive power even when they maintain overall muscle mass. So when you take creatine now, you have fewer type 2 fibers to store it in and fewer fast twitch motor units to utilize it. It is like filling up a high-performance fuel tank that has been replaced with a standard economy tank. The fuel is still good, the tank just cannot hold or use as much of it anymore. The real reason creatine seems to fail and why it is actually not the creatine. Here comes the plot twist that changes the entire narrative. Creatine does not fail at 50. I need you to really hear this because it is the most important thing I will say in this entire video. Creatine does not fail at 50. What fails is the environment, the strategy, and the expectations you are bringing to the table. If you are taking creatine the exact same way you did at 30, doing the same casual workouts you did at 30, or even worse, not exercising at all, and just hoping the powder does magic on its own, that is equivalent to planting seeds in concrete and then writing an angry review about the seed company when nothing grows. The research from the International Society of Sports Nutrition and numerous peer-reviewed studies published in journals like the Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition and Medicine and Science in Sports and Exercise actually shows that creatine supplementation becomes more important and more beneficial after 50, not less. Men over 50 who properly combine creatine supplementation with progressive resistance training actually show greater relative improvements in lean muscle mass and functional strength compared to some younger populations. The supplement is not broken, your approach is broken. The creatine is sitting there ready to work, but you are not giving it the proper conditions to do its job. The biggest mistakes men over 50 make with creatine. Let me expose the errors I see constantly that are sabotaging your results. Mistake number one is taking creatine without exercising. This is like buying premium gasoline and never driving your car. Creatine works by enhancing the adenosine triphosphate and phosphocreatine system during high-intensity muscular contractions. No contractions, no benefit. You are essentially paying for expensive urine at that point. Mistake number two is doing only cardio and wondering why creatine is not helping. Walking on a treadmill for 45 minutes does not create the demand for phosphocreatine regeneration. Your slow twitch fibers handle that workload just fine without extra creatine. You need resistance training and high intensity efforts. Mistake number three is expecting results in two weeks like when you were young. At 50, creatine saturation takes longer because you have less muscle mass to saturate, less efficient transporters, and potentially reduced blood flow to muscles. You might need four to six weeks or even longer to notice significant effects. Mistake number four is ignoring the cofactors. You are taking creatine, but you are sleeping five hours per night. Your protein intake is inadequate. You are chronically stressed and you are dehydrated. Creatine cannot overcome those obstacles. Mistake number five is using exotic forms of creatine because the marketing promised better absorption. Stick with creatine monohydrate. It has the most research, the best absorption profile, and the lowest cost. Those fancy alternatives are usually just expensive disappointments. How to make creatine work powerfully for you after 50. Now we arrive at the solution you have been waiting for, the exact blueprint to make creatine your ally again. First, you absolutely must pair creatine with consistent progressive resistance training at least three times per week. Focus on compound movements like squats, deadlifts, bench presses, overhead presses, rows, and pull movements. These exercises recruit the maximum number of muscle fibers and create the metabolic demand that makes your body actually want to store and utilize creatine. Second, take your 5 grams of creatine monohydrate with a combination of carbohydrates and protein, ideally post-workout within 30 minutes of finishing your training session. The insulin spike from approximately 30 to 50 grams of carbohydrates helps overcome that reduced transporter efficiency and drives more creatine into your muscle cells. Third, stay extremely well hydrated because creatine pulls water into your muscles and dehydration will absolutely sabotage your results. Aim for at least half your body weight in ounces of water daily. Fourth, Prioritize seven to nine hours of quality sleep because growth hormone release during deep sleep directly affects muscle recovery, protein synthesis, and how effectively your body utilizes creatine. Fifth, 
Consider implementing a loading phase of 20 grams total spread across four 5 gram doses throughout the day for the first five to seven days. This accelerates saturation in your now smaller muscle stores and gets you to effective levels faster. Sixth, add vitamin D supplementation if your levels are low because vitamin D deficiency is extremely common in men over 50 and it directly impacts muscle function and potentially creatine transport. Finally, be patient and consistent because the magic happens over months, not days. Creatine absolutely still works at 50, 60, 70, and beyond. Your best gains might genuinely still be ahead of you. You just need the updated strategy. Remember, comment active below right now to get my free exercise plus creatine guide for men over 50, and I will show you exactly how to implement every single thing I covered today. Your body is ready to respond. You just need to speak its new language.